So I'm here with Margie, and she is going to talk about what they're doing here with the transfiguring adoption. Did I say that correctly? Perfect. So go ahead. All right, we are a nonprofit. We help foster and adoptive families. We develop media and resources and tools to help them bond and connect, to nurture and grow, to heal from the trauma. We say that we care about kids by giving a hoot about their caregivers. We're like the oxygen mask for the caregivers. So if we can support them and help them to understand and not get overwhelmed, we can keep them from sending the kids to a new home. Okay. So we do all different kinds of things from um, media lists, discussion guides. One of our tools is actually a discussion guide based on the Harry Potter series that some really foster cool. adoptive kids wrote. So we do first foster placement survival kits, which is a toolkit uh, full of resources to help both the care caregivers and to help them with the kids, like some kids books to help the kids understand what foster care is mm -hmm. um, so they can understand what they're going through and relate to um, the books because there's not a lot of books for those kids to relate to. Right. So um, just all different kinds of resources. We do online discussion panels of professional Professionals every month so that caregivers can go on they can anonymously ask questions and learn about different topics even get training hours um, there's just so many what different events are, I saw one of your flyers there's like the Jets pizza is involved and um, what what are you doing with all of that all right well Jets pizza um, so far, they've sponsored us um, just locally in Knoxville. So once a month, subscribers from the Knoxville area can get um, a full pizza meal. So we raffle, not raffle, but we, you know, like right. someone gets picked to do that once a month. Um, and we kind of are looking for businesses around the country that mm -hmm. would be willing to do that, that, you know, do something for subscribers now, to help. Are you specifically based in one area or are you all over the country? We're all over the country. Actually, a lot of our resources, because they're online, we're actually global. So we get like 10% of our viewership is out of the UK every wow. day. We get different countries reading on our blog. That is great. So it's really fun. It's really exciting. Um, we have volunteers in Illinois. Indiana, Florida, Tennessee, and we're always looking to expand that. So. That is awesome. And what do you have here? We have stickers because of our Harry Potter connection. They're kind of themed with the Hogwarts house colors. So those are two dollars. We have bags. Um, that are buy a bag, give a bag. So you buy a tote bag for $10 and we actually give you a bag and then we give a bag to a family and we fill it full of resources and tools. Mm -hmm. And then we have, let's see, six different designs of t-shirts. That's really cool because there's like some that is great. And the proceeds go to funding our projects. Perfect. And we are also signing people up. We have a new group of um, fans who have started kind of a volunteer mobilization group. They have a fun group on Facebook. They're the Transfiguring Adoption Elf Squad. And so they do fun contests like trying to get people to join. Which house got the most people to join last month was a big contest. Oh, like and the Gryffindor house, or is that what you're talking about? Yeah. So okay. The Hogwarts houses. So, because it's a lot of the Hogwarts, like Harry Potter fans right. kind of started that. So, um, right now they're doing a Sweet Dreams Nightlight Drive. Cool. Because kids who've gone through trauma, you know, oftentimes they've had scary things happen to them. They don't feel safe. Right. And adults have hurt them and adults have lied to them. So why would they trust these strangers when they go into a new house and they're like, you're safe here. You can go to sleep. Right. All my life, people have lied to me. I don't believe you. You know, so even though we can tell them they're safe, you know, they need to be able to feel safe so that they can go to sleep. So nightlights are huge. And a lot of times foster parents, especially if they're doing older kids, don't think about that. They're thinking, right. I have to have this many fire extinguishers, this many carbon monoxide. Right. Like, getting all those requirements met, and that's something that they may or not may not have. Right. So to help those kids. So. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Margie. Uh, I'm going to put this on here, get some more, because I didn't even know about this. So this is exciting, and I hope to get more awareness about this transfiguring adoption. Thank you Absolutely. again. Thank you.